trying to show you, man's holidays is false worship, brothers and sisters. See, and, and again, we ain't trying to offend nobody. We trying to get you to save your life because the Lord don't like false worship. He hates idolatry. Now let's go a little farther. Did you finish that? Read uh, a little. He said he honored, they were honoring the sun. Christians honor Christ instead of Siren as the light of the world. See, you say you honor in Christ, but Christ didn't tell you to honor him that way. Let alone 300 years after he was born, you're going to come up with the day. The same day they've been worshiping uh, this sun that the Lord say don't worship. Just like I, I have a new wife. If I marry a new wife, she already was married. And then she turned around and say, yeah, you know, instead of celebrating your birthday on your birthday, can we just do it on this other day? And this day just happened to be her ex-husband's birthday. You think I'm going to like that? That wouldn't make no sense. I'm going to say, okay, yes, yeah, celebrate on that day. It really don't matter because you say you honoring me. No, she's not honoring me. She honoring her ex-husband. She's going to call it my birthday, but she want to keep doing what she's been doing. That's what you're doing with this uh, man's holidays. Let's go further. Go to one more history because we're going to look at this one custom that we got around Christmas, the Christmas tree. Everybody like to do it. Let's see where it came from. World Book Encyclopedia, Volume 3, page 408 under the Christmas tree. Go ahead. The Christmas tree. There are several stories about the origin of Christmas trees. Uh-huh. People in Scandinavia once worshipped trees. Oh, wait a minute. There they go, worshipping trees. And I know people say it, right? Wait a minute. No, I ain't worshipping no tree, brother. I do not worship the tree. I just put it up in my house. I don't bow down. Look, you go through an awful lot of trouble for that tree for you not to be worshipping. You get it in your house, you decorate it, and then you got to put gifts under there. You got to go through all this trouble. That's too much trouble for you say you're not worshiping. Right. But we see people used to worshiping, not just in Scandinavia either. In many places, they worship the trees. But go ahead. When they became Christians, they made evergreen trees part of Christian festivals. Again, so when they became Christian, they just kept on worshiping the tree. They just infused it. Now we're going to do it on Jesus' birthday. Really? Especially when we found out that's really not his birthday. We got a whole lot of mess up in here. A whole lot of it. It don't jive. But now we can, you can read this. Let's skip down to the next paragraph, uh, the custom. Go ahead. The custom of decorating homes and churches with evergreen began in ancient times. Oh, it began in ancient times. Way before Jesus, but go ahead. The Roman exchanged green trees, bunches of good lucks on on the, the calendar first day of January. See now, we can even read where it talk about people honor the God Thor this way with this tree. But we're going to get to the scripture because we're going to show you God, he detests this type of stuff. He done warned you about it. Now I say they worship in the ancient days. Let's show you God knew it in the Bible. Isaiah 44. Isaiah 44. And we're going to pick it up at verse 14. Because now we're going to show you that this is nothing new, what man is doing. This is something that God don't like, though. 44 and 14, go ahead. He hewed down cedars mm -hmm. and take up the cypress and, uh, of the oak. See, which, he said he hewed down cedars and take up the cypress and the oak. These are forms of trees that he's telling you about. What he do with them? Go ahead. Which he strengthens for himself among the trees of the forest. Uh -huh. He planted in ashes and rain doeth nourish him. Uh -huh. Then shall it be for a man to burn, for he will take the of, of the warm himself. Yea, he kindle it and baketh bread. Uh -huh. Yea, he maketh a god and worship it. Oh, see, he's telling you how you do all this with this tree. You cut it down. You cook. You make a fire by it to warm yourself. You even cook on the fire that you made with the wood from the tree. You do all this. And then you're going to put it up in your house and think that that's something. But go ahead. What verse you at? Verse 15. Uh-huh. Then it be for a man to burn, for he will take thereof and warm it himself. Uh-huh. Yeah, he kindle it and bake a bread. Yeah, he make it God and worship it. He make it a graven image and fall it down there too. See, you fall it down. People say, I don't bow down to the tree. They sing to old oh, Christmas tree, old oh, Christmas tree. Then you put gifts under there. You got to bow down to get them gifts out. You just don't recognize it. But go ahead. He burneth part thereof in the fire. Uh-huh. 
with part thereof he eateth the flesh. Go ahead. He roasteth it, and it is satisfied. Yea, he warmed himself and said, Ah, I am warm. Uh -huh. I have seen the fire. Go ahead. And the residue thereof he maketh a god, even his graven image. Uh -huh. He followed down unto it and worshiped it and prayeth unto it uh -huh. and said, Deliver me from thou art my god. Uh -huh. They have not known nor understood, for he has shut their eyes. They cannot see and their hearts, and they cannot understand. See, hopefully you're not blind like this. You're doing all this with this tree. You need to realize you worshiping something you don't know. Don't have nothing to do with worshiping God. Jesus, don't have nothing to do with that. Go ahead, verse 19. And none considereth in his heart, neither is there knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Uh, you use trees for everything. And then you're going to put one in your house and decorate it around December 25th. For what? Go ahead. Yea, also I have baked bread upon the coals thereof. Mm -hmm. I have roasted flesh and eaten it. Shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? An abomination. Go ahead. Shall I fall down to the stock of a tree? See, they've been worshiping trees. So you just following a custom that existed long ago, brother and sister. It's not about Jesus. It's just pig on a lipstick. Don't have nothing to do with Jesus. You putting a tree in your house, don't even know why. That's a shame. If I tell you, ask you, I don't have to show you none of this. I just say, how does that pertain to Jesus? You dumbfounded. You can't answer because you're doing something you don't know. Go ahead. 20. He feeded it on ashes and deceived his heart. Have he turned him aside that he cannot deliver his soul? See, a deceived heart didn't mess people up. They doing something they don't even know. Then, if you get mad when I tell you, you really deceive. You should take heed and turn away from this. Go ahead. Nor say, I there not a lie in my right hand. See, he's got a deceived heart. Neither do he say, is there not a lie in my right hand? You can't say that to you. This is a lie. I've been doing this. God, I'm sorry. My mother gave it to me, and I didn't know no better. You can repent from it. Let's go to Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah was real specific about this custom because, again, this is idolatry. This is false worship. Jeremiah 10, pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead, brother. Hear ye the words which the Lord speak unto you, O house of Israel. Uh -huh. Thus said the Lord, learn not the ways of the heathen, uh -huh. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. See, the Lord warned his people who he showed how to get salvation not to follow these customs. He said, listen to me. The, don't learn the way of the heathen. That's the other nations. Because they dismayed at the signs of heaven. Talking about what happened in the sky with the sun and the moon. Because right. again, all this stuff go back to sun worship. Worship in the sun. Go ahead. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh. Now he's going to tell you about the custom that he told you don't observe. Verse 3. For the custom of the people are vain. Uh -huh. For one cut off a tree out of the forest. Oh, there go that tree. He said this is a vain custom. And you doing it. One cut at the tree out the forest. What are he going to do with that tree? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and gold. Oh, they're going to decorate it. Go ahead. They fasten it with nails and with a hammer that it move not. Oh, you're going to get that tree and you're going to deck it. You're going to decorate it. That's exactly what you do to this day. You decorate it with little baubles and all kind of gold and silver stuff. You still put it on there. That's right. You decorating it and you don't even know why. Then you put it somewhere where it can stand upright. You say, well, I didn't go cut it down. Somebody cut it down, unless you got an artificial one, but you're still doing the same custom. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of live ones out there. Some people like the live ones better. Don't you know that? I want me a live one. <laughs> For what, though? You don't know. He say they deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers that it moved not. See, in the old days,